The ultimate guide to antioxidants. Antioxidants are, without a doubt, an essential part of optimal health. Even conventional Western physicians now acknowledge the significance of getting sufficient antioxidants from your diet or taking high-quality antioxidant supplements. But do you know how antioxidants function in your body and what types you need? I have compiled some basic facts about antioxidants to broaden your understanding of these nutrients so you can better appreciate their importance in helping keep you youthful and healthy. What are antioxidants? Antioxidants are a class of stable molecules that are capable of inhibiting the harmful effects of free radicals, which are unstable and highly reactive molecular species that target lipids, nucleic acid, proteins and other important molecules. Your body naturally circulates a variety of nutrients for their antioxidant properties and manufactures antioxidant enzymes in order to control oxidative stress. Some antioxidants are produced by your body, but some are not. As you age, your body's natural antioxidant production can decline. Since antioxidants play a significant role in delaying the aging process by fighting free radicals, losing your body's antioxidant defense could speed up aging. The health benefits of antioxidants, how do they stop free radical damage? To fully understand how antioxidants truly benefit your well-being, you should first be familiar with free radical formation. Biogerontologist Denham Harmon was the first to discover the concept of free radicals in 1954 while researching an explanation for aging. Free radicals are a type of a highly reactive metabolite that is naturally produced by your body as a result of normal metabolism and energy production. They are your natural biological responses to environmental toxins like cigarette smoke, sunlight, chemicals and cosmic and man-made radiation. They even are a key feature of pharmaceutical drugs. Your body also produces free radicals when you exercise and when you have inflammation anywhere in your body. Free radical molecules are missing one or more electrons, which are responsible for biological oxidation. The incomplete molecules aggressively attack other molecules in order to replace their missing parts. These reactions are called oxidation. Oxidation is essentially biological rusting as it's an effect caused by too much oxygen in your tissues. Free radicals steal electrons from the proteins in your body, which badly damages your DNA and other cell structures. They can create a snowballing effect, which means that, as molecules steal from one another, each one becomes a new free radical, leaving a trail of biological carnage. Free radicals tend to collect in cell membranes, lipid peroxidation, which makes the cell lipids prone to oxidative damage. When this happens, the cell membrane becomes brittle and leaky, causing the cell to fall apart and die. Free radicals can severely affect your DNA by disrupting the duplication of DNA, interfering with DNA maintenance, and breaking open or altering its structure by reacting with the DNA bases. Free radicals are linked to over 60 different diseases, including cancer, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, cataracts, atherosclerosis, if your body does not get adequate protection, free radicals can become rampant, causing your cells to perform poorly. This can lead to tissue degradation and put you at risk of diseases. This is where antioxidants come in. Antioxidants are electron donors, so they can break the free radical chain reaction by sacrificing their own electrons to feed free radicals, but without turning into free radicals themselves. Antioxidants are nature's way of providing your cells with adequate defense against reactive oxygen species, ROS. As long as you have these important micronutrients, your body will be able to resist aging caused by your everyday exposure to pollutants. If you don't have an adequate supply of antioxidants to help squelch free radicals, then you can be at risk of oxidative stress, which leads to accelerated tissue and organ damage. Numerous studies have confirmed the benefits of antioxidants and the role they play in maintaining good health and reducing your risk of heart disease, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and cancer. Antioxidants also help slow down the aging process, which can have immense effects on your skin health. Other important benefits of antioxidants include repairing damaged molecules. Some unique types of antioxidants may help repair damaged molecules by donating a hydrogen atom. This is very important when the molecule is a critical one, like those that make up the nucleic acids in your DNA. Blocking metal radical production, certain antioxidants have a chelating effect that may help keep toxic metals from causing free radical formation and inhibit any chemical reaction from taking place. 
stimulating gene expression and endogenous antioxidant production. Some forms of antioxidants may help stimulate your body's genes and increase your natural defenses. Providing a shield effect, antioxidants, such as flavonoids, may act as a virtual shield by attaching to your DNA to help protect it from free radical attacks. Reducing the risk for cancer, antioxidants may help fight against cancer by interfering with the metabolic activation of chemical carcinogens, causing regression of premalignant lesions and inhibiting the development of tumors. In the book The Antioxidants, author Richard A. Passwater, Ph.D., says that humans have one of the longest natural lifespans in the animal kingdom, most likely because of the wealth of antioxidants in our omnivorous diet. Human bodies also produce antioxidant enzymes that cannot be found in other creatures. According to him, our natural antioxidant processes compensate for one another, covering up momentary deficiencies by their overlap. Many people think that taking just a few antioxidants, just one or two megadoses, for example, is sufficient to maintain optimal health. But I strongly disagree. Instead, you must get a wide variety of antioxidants to optimize your well-being. Different types of antioxidants. The science of antioxidants can be quite complex, and this often causes people to be confused about what types they should be taking. In fact, I've been asked several times, whether it's necessary to take astaxanthin if you're already taking a resveratrol supplement. The answer is yes, astaxanthin is actually a lipid-soluble antioxidant, while resveratrol is a water-soluble antioxidant. Each type of antioxidant has its own special function. When classified according to their solubility, antioxidants can be categorized as either soluble in lipids or fat, hydrophobic, or soluble in water, hydrophilic. Both of these forms are required by your body in order to protect your cells, since the interior of your cells and the fluid between them are composed of water, while the cell membranes themselves are mostly made of fat. Since free radicals can strike either the watery cell contents or the fatty cellular membrane, you need both types of antioxidants to ensure full protection from oxidative damage. Lipid-soluble antioxidants are the ones that protect your cell membranes from lipid peroxidation. They are mostly located in your cell membranes. Some examples of lipid-soluble antioxidants are vitamins A and E, carotenoids and coenzyme Q10, COQ10. Water-soluble antioxidants are found in aqueous body fluids, like your blood and the fluids within and around your cells, citosolar cytoplasmic matrix. Some examples of water-soluble antioxidants are vitamin C, polyphenols and glutathione. However, solubility is not the only way to categorize antioxidants. They can also be categorized as enzymatic and non-enzymatic, enzymatic, 